how, what did you notice that they changed after that last? No, no, I mean, just, you know, just played, you know, played better, you know what I mean? And, and um, you know, they were, if you look at the end of the year, they were probably playing as good a football as anybody. They blew people out week after week after week. You know, they played a relatively close game against Air Force, but then, you know, blew everybody out in the conference. And I don't know that they played anybody in the, in the Mountain West, that, you know, even the ball game, much after halftime. And so, um, you know, um, they're a good football team. How, you, how you, difficult does that become scouting them when maybe second half of the games? I mean, you, you're, yeah, you're well, we got, we got, yeah, we got, we had 14 games, you know, film last year with the WAC championship and the bowl game. So we, there's, there's a lot of tape. You obviously were expecting a big year out of Chad Hansen, but were you expecting to have that type of debut? Well, you know, it's funny. It was kind of a caught 11 in the first half. It was pretty quiet 11, honestly. Uh, somebody said something at halftime, and I, I had no idea he'd caught that many. Um, yeah, I mean, the thing about it is I think there's a level of trust right now between him and Davis. And, and you know, the quarterbacks, especially in early games, is always going to go to the guys he trusts the most. And, and um, you know, I think right now that's Chad. And so, you know, they did some things in the second half to take him away a little bit and, and open up the middle of the field. Um, and so, you know, we, I'm sure we'll see some looks where, you know, they walk him down. And San Diego State's got really good corners. He's got a corner that's... I believe was the Mountain West Defensive Player of the Year last year, and he's supposed to be a high draft pick. Um, so it'll be a good challenge for him. How important will it be going forward to, to make sure that Davis is kind of spreading the ball a little bit more? Yeah, I mean, I, I think I think he will. I mean, I, I think it's I think those guys have to earn it. You know what I mean? I think that's the thing about it is, uh, you know, you want him to be comfortable with those guys, and the only way that he gets comfortable with them is you know when those guys emerge, and so. You know, we've we've made a we've you know made a little bit of a switch, moved Vic Wharton to X and flipped Demetrius to Z, um, which will kind of split up a little bit of our speed, you know, and and that was something we had talked about doing. I feel like it makes sense to do it now, um, but you know, we'll see how it plays out. You know, it's it's just going to be a matter of getting consistent out there at X. Dad said yesterday that you, that, that you kind of wanted to, to maybe kind of dip Demetrius' toes in. A little bit, and not kind of throw everything at him. How does flipping him to the other side of the field complicate that? Well, it's it's the same position. I mean, it really is. There's there's no difference at all. I mean, it's it's the, the good thing about what we do is it's pretty much mirrored routes. And so if you know one position, you know the other. Um, you know, and probably wouldn't do it if it wasn't an open week. We just felt like that that gives that spreads our personnel out the best and, and makes the most sense. So, you know, anytime you make a, a position move, it's always a little bit painful. But we, you know, it's better to go ahead and do it now than it is to wait. Yeah, very good. Thanks. All right. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Okay.